Hey, what's up everybody? It's Tom from TomsColder.com. Just wanted to do another unboxing. Last video got a little long, so I just didn't want to, you know, make it 25 minutes. So, this unboxing is a little more interesting to those of you who are gold prospectors um, and who have joined for that reason, who have joined uh, along in the gold prospecting uh, Tom's Gold Dirt mailbox um, adventures. So this, this unboxing, as I shake the camera like crazy, show off the fish, got the knife. We're going to open this up. Oh, wait, what's that say? GPAA, what's that? G Japa? Japa. What's Japa? I don't know what Japa is, but it's got to be something interesting, because otherwise I wouldn't be opening it on camera. Japa. If any of you know what Japa is, let me know in the comments. Not sure. Just kidding. So as you guys know, I'm in the gold prospecting, and uh, some of the organizations that are out there, you know, um, AMRA, American Mining Rights Association, the JAPA, GPAA, Gold Prospectors of America. There are others, um, but these are ones I've been around since I was a little kid. I actually, you know, wanted to do this unboxing just to get some more people over to the GPAA. Um, I think I was a member when I was younger, and in fact, I think I was a life member, and I don't know if my dad canceled it when I was in Afghanistan or something. I don't really know, but um, I used to watch uh, the Gold Fever show, Tom Massey, you know, gold, gold, gold. I don't want to get a copyright infringement, but that's as far as I'm going to go with that. But um, So the GPAA has been in my life for a very long time, and... Um, I can honestly say I've never been to a GPAA claim because I have fun elsewhere, but um, I will definitely have to do that now. So here's what I got from the GPAA. Don't need that. Here's what you would get from the GPAA. Got my Gold Prospectors Association of America claim cards. Got my book that is as big as something I would have ignored in high school, but I will be interested in this because it's something... I will have fun looking through. So it's actually the GPAA Claims Club Membership Mining Guide, 2014 edition. Super cool. Yeah, we got some DVDs. We got the Gold Prospector Association of America hat. Let's see. Let's try this out. Let's see here. I'm not going to be able to see this myself, so it is what it is, right? <laughs> Let's see what, I, I don't know if my face is in there, but I hope it is, because that's a cool hat. Anyway, back to what we got here. We got some Bedrock Bustin'. Got a DVD there, I believe. Bedrock Bustin'. Get started prospecting. I might be a little beyond that, but uh, I'm going to watch it anyway, because you never know. Well, what are these? We got uh, Prospecting America. I want to find those. I just want those. More Prospecting America, more Prospecting America. So then we got a big old, I believe, that would be a Super Sluice. No, the Gold Catcher. Ah, cool. Made in the USA, we'll take that. The Gold Catcher. We got a patch. Cool patch. GPAA patch. I'm throwing everything into that big gold pan. Gold Prospecting Association member. That'll go in the truck. And if you don't know what a truck is, it starts with F and ends with O R D. Just lost a subscriber for that comment. Um, that's awesome too. That can go on the gold <laughs> gold dredging improves fish habitat. Ironically, I always have my gold pan with me when I go smallmouth or trout fishing, so I hope that's true. That's a big snuffer bottle. Um, 50th anniversary this year. That was the best year to rejoin. Got the newspaper, pick and shovel gazette. I want to get a pick from somewhere. I, I watched this movie one time called Gold. And the guy got, like, the minor shovel. I want Tom's Golder to get something like that. 
and uh, of course they give you the real gold this is not a magazine cover you get this much gold I'm just kidding but uh, yeah look at that we got the gold prospectors July through August magazine for gold gym and treasure hunters I think I fit that description and all of you do too so that's it and then we got this great box which will uh, you know be recycled because we're we are uh, environmentally friendly but uh, yeah so we get back to what's important the fish and this discuss this so the GPA the gold prospectors of America uh, uh, of America Association, GPAA, JAPA, um, is an organization that has mines and claims across the United States that for a small fee you can have access to. And uh, let's see if the paperwork here says, well, let's just read the paperwork. I mean, y'all can steal my identity, I don't care. I'm just kidding, don't do that, please. Um, Thank you for the support of the Gold Prospectors Association of America, the JAPA. That's what I'm calling it. Please notice that your membership and permit expiration dates are the same. You will need to carry both cards when you are prospecting on any of the claims. The claims guidebook will now be printed approximately every three years. With all updates, changes are being sent to you in the Pick and Shovel Gazette. All information is subject to change. If you lose your card, it's a $5 replacement charge. Just like Chase Bank. What's up with that? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Chase, mate, you never charged me. Um, happy prospecting. May there always be gold in the bottom of your pan. If you buy Tom's Gold Dirt, there will be. <laughs> if you need any additional information, please contact the above address, which you probably seen earlier. Anyway, so that's what the card looks like. Don't print this out, because I'll be sad if I can't use my own. And then... Um, so, the entire cost is not included on here, but it was not that much. I can't remember. I'm not going to look it up right now just because this video is already in, approaching somewhere near eight minutes. And, um, yeah, so you guys go check them out. GPAA is a organization, like I said, where you can gain access to um, club events. They do a lot of, like... Um, sponsored digs where you pay them a little bit to go to, you know, like Thermal City or, you know, here in Ohio they just did one not too long ago. But you share in the reward, the bounty, I guess, if you go to those like Thermal City or whatever. So whatever the team finds, you get a piece of the pie. So if you don't find anything, you could still walk away with some gold. Um, but uh, yeah, so go check them out. I don't want to do anything or say anything that's out of line. Like I said, I. I haven't got the pick and shovel gazette since I lived at home uh, when I was like 16 or something. That was the last time I remember getting it. But um, I think I begged my dad to get it for me, you know, and give me a membership or whatever a long time ago. And now that I'm an adult and I'm in the industry, sort of, I don't know if I'm a professional, but, you know, we're there. Um, I wanted to become a member again and share it with you all. So if, uh, you know, if you're ever in the area, and I'm in the area, and um, we could get together and go to one of these claims, I would do it because it's what I like to do. It's what you guys like to do. So maybe, you know, maybe I'll see you guys out on a stream somewhere, and we will do some prospecting together. Um, I would actually love to meet some of you, you know. I, I know some of you are close by, not too far away. So if you are, feel free to go to tomsgolder.com and drop me a line. Um, if you're not camera shy, maybe I can show you, you know, what I do when I go out in the stream and you can be my, um, host and I will be the cameraman, which I'm terrible at anyway. But that said, y'all have a great night. I'm going to jump off here. The angelfish looks like he's in that, but he's not only the sick fish is in there. Um, like I said earlier in the other video, I have to go get my water tested at the fish place because lost a few fish and I don't like losing fish. I don't really know what's going on. I did a 30% water change to try to fix the situation. I used Prime. Prime dechlorinates water. I used Aquastar, which dechlorinates water. I used a lot of stuff that kills the chlorine, but they're acting like their gills got infected by, or not infected, but affected by chlorine. So I don't really know. If any of you know, I would love to know, but this is the status of my big guppy. 
not so good and it makes it really does hurt my feelings which I'm a pretty tough dude and seen a lot of horrible things and you wouldn't think this would be what bothers me but it does bother me um, I've got her secluded him secluded right now just to um, you know avoid possible spreading I think I'm gonna let it go back out it seems like it's okay the last one um, that died was the big one, the um, the black one that uh, it was huge. It was bigger than that one, which that one's huge for a guppy. Um, but it started swimming funky, started going belly up like it had a swim bladder problem. It just broke my heart. Anyway, so back to what's important in life, you guys. Um, freedom, and obviously the angelfish, which are doing great. The blue fish that cost $15 and the pink fish. And then green bean for Cam, the man, the baby of our family. And then let's go to the American flag because it represents so much that we all cherish and love. The Pledge of Allegiance, which is my new intro for this video and the last. So, y'all have a great night. This, again, is a longer video than I wanted it to be. But I wanted to share with you uh, that I finally got my GPA a stuff and uh you know y'all have to go check them out there there's a lot to learn um i'm no expert i am never going to be an expert at anything because i enjoy learning too much i don't want to be an expert because i like the process of learning but uh, go check them out gpa um also go check out the wandering buffaloes um they they just sent me the most amazing herkimer diamond look at the last video i just posted um, go become their patron, you know, I also just sent out a bunch of, or packaged a bunch of stuff for my patrons, but they're, they just gave me like a $60 rock in the mail that is the most amazing thing. I'll show it off for this, this video too, real quick. It's already long. If you stuck through to this, this point, I mean, you're not going to click off after I just told you the awesome story about this, which I just won from the Wandering Buffalo's Patreon. Even if you can't afford to be a Patreon, go subscribe to their channel. Their channel is awesome. So, that said, y'all have a great night. I'm going to let uh, a fish, which fish wants to do it? All right, Mr. Bluefish, Pinkfish, and Angelfish, good night.